Welcome back to my channel, my friend. Today's video is we're going to repair a sharp 32 inches LED TV. I'm going to plug in and power on the TV. Let's see what's the problem. Take a look at the power indicator light, it's continuously blinking. Before I proceed, I want to give thanks to all of my viewer and subscriber. I reach 1000 subscriber now. Thank you so much guys. This is the model of this sharp lead TV. Now, let's open the back cover of this TV. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell to keep you updated. And if you want to help this channel, please share this video to friends and family. Thank you. By the way, finish the video to know the secret on how you gonna remove the error and disabling the protection mode. Also, please don't skip when ads appear. Enjoy watching. This is the main board. Like I always said, visually check all the board or component of the TV. And this is the PSU or power supply unit board. Visual check all the part, check all the electrolytic capacitor. Last is the top board of the LCD panel of this TV. Let's clean the board using paintbrush. All the electrolytic capacitor are good or there is no bloated capacitor. Now, let's check this SR5100 Schottky Barrier Rectifier Diode. This is the time that I will tell that. The continuous blinking of power LED indicator is a LED error. So we're going to focus to the LED driver section of this PSU. Remove the LED bulb connection before checking the Schottky Barrier Rectifier Diode. Focus to my analog multi-tester. For a newbie like me, this is how to check the diode. First, reverse bias testing. Next, forward bias testing. In reverse bias, the needle pointer move to the right. It means the diode is good. In forward bias, the needle pointer is in normal position. Once the needle pointer move to the right in forward bias, the diode is shorted. Yes, this diode is shorted. Unscrew the PSU board and remove the shorted diode. Once again guys, thank you for supporting and watching my videos. God bless. And if you are not yet a subscriber on this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell to keep you updated. And if you want to help this channel, please share this video. Town to town, from London to Taiwan.
Unfortunately, I don't have a SR5110. So I'm going to use this SR560 Schottky Barrier Rectifier Diode. It's okay. It's the same amper. It's easy for me to replace the same diode, cause it's my neighbor TV. So whenever I got the exact diode, I'm going to replace it. Don't skip the video. After a few minutes, I will share my idea on how you gonna disable the lamp error protection. Now, after replacing this shorted diode, let's plug in and power on the TV and see what happened. Observe the red light power indicator. As you can see, the red light power indicator is continuously blinking again even we replace the shorted diode. Why? Simple because of the lamp error registered in the memory of this TV. If you just remove or replace the cause of its error and not erase or reset the program, the TV will not work. Now let's start the deep troubleshooting by accessing or entering the service mode of this TV. Now, unplug the TV. To enter the factory or service mode of this sharp LED TV, press together the power button and joystick and plug in the TV. Once the LED indicator light has an alternating red-green light, release it and move the joystick, one up, one down, and one up again. When the backlight is on or the screen is in a white display, press and hold the joystick until the service mode appear when the service mode appear. Release or unhold the joystick. As you can see, we already enter the service mode of this TV. Notice this lamp error here. This is the one that I'm telling you guys, the error that registered to its memory. Very important that you have the original remote of the TV to erase and reset the error. Using the remote, go to page 9. Now, notice this LER reset, it has a number 5. 
It means that the TV reached the maximum error. That's why the TV is in protect mode. Scroll down and go to LER reset. Then press the enter to reset the error. LER reset is zero now. It means no more lamp error register on its memory. To avoid LER reset detecting lamp error, go to LER stop. The LER stop is zero. To permanently stop the lamp error, the LER stop must be number one. Why I am doing this? Because I have a lot of experience on this sharp LED TVs. This type of LED TV has a weak memory IC. Once the memory file corrupt, you will no longer reset all the errors, especially the lamp error, which is the common problem. To prevent that future headache, permanently off the protection mode of the lamp or LED driver. Now, let's try once again the TV. Observe the changes. Take a look. The red indicator light is stable now. No more blinking. Let's power on the TV using the remote. The TV is normally working now. Disclaimer! If you are not a technician and your TV has a trouble like this, please do not reset the program if you do not remove or replace the parts that causing the error. It will cause of a memory file corrupt. Hope this video helped you. This is Jovit Tech PH. Thank you so much. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me.